Hi guys, Ann here, and today we have another car vlog. It's pretty late in the day. It's like 2.30, well it's in the afternoon. I was going to vlog earlier, however it was pouring raining. So it's still wet outside, but it stopped raining. So I thought, let me just go ahead. When it's raining, I don't feel like doing anything. Like if I'm home, I don't know. So today's the 17th, February 17th. Today is my mom's birthday. She would have been the big seven zero. She would have been 70 years old today. I can't believe it. We used to talk about things like when she turned 70, she wanted like this big party. And because my mom was the type of person she didn't like to get her pictures taken, so I don't have a lot of pictures of her. Um, she, she she didn't like anything her, you know what I mean? Anything about her, you know? So, like, when it was her birthday, ever since I can remember, since I, I was, like, 18, 19, probably when I started having kids, when it was my mom or grandmother's birthday, I usually was in charge of it. So, I would bring the cake over. I would bring the food over, like whatever they wanted to eat for dinner that night. And it would just be me and my kids and my mom and grandma. So, it was always small. And I invite my aunts and stuff like that. If they can come, they'd come or if they worked or whatever. But it wasn't like a party party. It was more like, let's get together and eat dinner and stuff for their birthday. And then have cake. Does that make sense? So I was shocked. So my mom was like, yeah, I want a party on my 70th, what? 70th, 70th, I, can I, how do you say it? 70th, there you go, birthday. And it's just sad that she's not here. Uh, like we talked about as well, like Isaiah's 18th birthday, um, Lexi's 21st birthday. Tyler's 25th birthday, you know? So, anywho, and you know what's weird? So, I tell you, my, told you my mom had a dog, Bella. She's the one that I have to get the soft dog food. Well, we got her. She was a rescue dog. We got her from the SPCA because my mom's other dog, Brutus. Yes, Brutus. And this dog was like 10 pounds. I don't know why she named it Brutus, but she did. Um, anyway, Brutus passed away, and Lexi was so little when... Brutus came to the house, you know, like when it was a puppy, Lexi couldn't say, so Lexi would say boo-boo. So then Brutus's nickname was boo-boo, so everybody said boo-boo, right? Um, so I'm on my way <laughs> warehouse. The person who never eats fast food, um, that always seems to get fast food, I'm going to get just some chicken nuggets and stuff. I'm just, when I tell you how my days past couple days have been you it, you're not gonna believe it but anyway and so I remember so my mom and when my grandmother moved into the house in 1979 so of course there was a lot of pets and stuff and even my aunts and everything else all of their animals whoever died even if they had a hamster was is buried in my mom's backyard so there's at least 20 25 pets back there from bunnies to cats, to dogs, to hamsters, to like, what you know what I mean? And so we were gonna bury, we buried Brutus in the backyard and Lexi made a little bracelet. I think Lexi was about 11, I wanna say when Brutus died. So she made him like, um, a, like a Hi. necklace. Welcome to Virgin. where you go? Good. Thank you. You are? You're 60 change. Thank you. You have a great day. Okay, the drink. The drink. The drink. I gave it to you. No. You had me second guessing, like, did you? No, I wasn't. How about a, a straw? Sorry. I was too drunk. <laughs> Thank you. You have a good day. You too. All right, I'm gonna uh, pull over and eat. But anyway, so I don't know what I was saying. So Lexi had made like, um, you know how they had those beads and the strings? So she made Boo Boo a, a, a necklace and then had a little cross put on it. And so she put the necklace on and all that. I mean, it was just so sad. So anyway, Tyler, he was very, very close to the dog. Tyler was about 15, I wanna say. 
and I uh, he was so depressed and so was my mom and grandma everybody was depressed but Tyler would go over there on the weekends a lot you know he just enjoyed spending time he was like a grandmom's boy and so we decided to go to the SPCA maybe about a couple months after um, Brutus passed away and we seen Bella. Bella was in the cage with uh, another uh, like a pit uh, called Mickey Mouse. I'll never forget. Mickey Mouse was hyper. Bella wasn't so hyper but we were going to get Mickey Mouse and something just clicked. Bella came to my mom and you know how like if you go to the SPCA so then they bring the dog into like a room and Tyler loved uh Bella because that's the they had named the dog Bella and then we did the paperwork I think you had to pay $110 and then they also um neutered her you know and then we took her home a couple days later and so she's been with the family so it was my mom's dog so anyway I'm telling you the story because we did not know. So as you do the par paperwork and we brought Bella home, we looked at the birthday. Bella's birthday is February 17th, the same day as my mom's. So today, Bella is 12 years old. But how weird is that? It's like my mom had this sense, like, no, we need to get Bella. It was really weird. Just And she's definitely meant to be in the family. So I need to go to the pet store get dog food, uh, the big bag of dog food for the other dogs. And I have to, I want to go in there and see if they have like a treat shaped as a cake for Bella for her birthday. And then, um, I have to go to Walmart and get that soft food that Bella likes and get a few things, uh, not really food. I do have to get coffee. Oh, let me write that down on my other phone. Cause I always forget. So I only need a few things at Walmart. And I write everything in my notes now. I've been doing very, very good. What did I just say I need it? I got to rewind this. I literally just forgot what I said. Hold on. <laughs> coffee. I know you guys are probably like, coffee. I literally forgot that quick because I haven't been sleeping. Wait till I tell you what's been going on. Well, I've been sleeping on the couch the past couple days because my bed broke. I cannot believe it. So I got my bed. My bed is at least 10 years old. So it's an older bed, right? But I got one of those beds. Uh, I forget what they're called. You know, like you ever see like commercials, you put your handprint in and it leaves a handprint, you know? And I think I paid like $3,500 for it. It's, it's only a queen size. I love it. You know, I really, really do. And I noticed the, the box spring. See, nowadays, if you get like a queen size bed and up, the box spring is like two pieces. Well, this is only just a one piece. And so it's just a mess. Like the box spring is the one that keeps breaking. And I, and, and we keep trying, we keep fixing it because it's cheap. You pay all this money and like the box spring is so cheap. It's like cheap wood. And, um, the, in the middle, right in the middle, it like split. So the bed was up like this. So we have to put the um, the mattress on the floor. So we have the box spring here and then we have the mattress here. The mattress is so heavy. I can't even move it. Like I can hardly slide it. It's like very, very heavy. You know, you need like two people to move the damn thing. Um, and so I don't know if he's asked to get another piece of wood or fixer or what have you. So my room's a mess because, you know, uh, me and my husband, we... Uh, our room is the attic. Now, I tell you, just in case you're new, the attic was converted many, many years ago. Uh, it, it looks like a, a room, a bedroom, but it's like that older dark wood, and then the trimming is, is like light wood because it's like 50, 60 years old, you know? So that was the style back then. And um, so it's me and my husband's bedroom, and then it's also my beauty room with all my makeup and stuff. So, like, it's 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 small, you know. It's big, but it's small. Now, it was my choice. I could have had the master bedroom, but the attic was bigger, you know. And plus, it's away from everybody else, right? So... Oh my God. It's just, you can't even move now. So like I, and which is good because now I have to clean and organize, you know? So I don't know if we're just going to get a brand new bed. I need to see just how much a box spring is. I need to get like the two piece bo box spring instead of the one. Uh, but you know, what's weird. I, I, I've always been like this. If it was somebody else, I just get him a whole new bed. But because I paid so much money for 
the bed. And some of you guys, when I said, oh, that's not a lot. But for me, that was. And there's, there's no stains on the bed. <laughs> that didn't sound right. I don't mean it like that. I mean, like, we don't eat or drink on the bed. So, like, nothing spilled or anything. And then we had one of those, we bought, when we got the bed, it was one of those mattress covers that you put on there to, to keep it clean, you know. So, the bed looks brand new, you know, and I hate it. But that could be why, like, the past maybe six months or so, my back's been hurting every time I get up. And it could have been from that box spring. I don't know. But, so, the night before, I slept on the couch. And now, last night, I mean, the mattress is on the floor. I could sleep on the floor. But I fell asleep by accident on the couch. And so, my back was hurting. I didn't really sleep good. And it seemed like it's f finally when I was able, I must have fell asleep. Um everybody's getting up to go to work and stuff so like I hardly got any sleep and then it was raining like hard raining it's dark like it's like 2 30 and it's it, the phone is making it look light but it's dark like the sky looks dark and when it's like this I just don't feel like doing anything and then also like you know I miss my mom so like I'm in one of those moods you know what I mean like takes me it took me a while to get dressed and I didn't feel like doing my makeup I feel like there's hair or something on my lip that's the only thing bad with lip gloss or lip balm. So I'm cheating today. I did get a little soda, but I'll literally take a couple sips. What the hell was that? A little light bulb. I changed the color of the lights. But anyway, um, I don't know. So I'm not going to do it tonight. Oh, excuse me. I always get the hiccups when... Um, if I drink just even a sip of soda, I get hiccups. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, but to, to, like, I just don't feel like it. I'm um, doing anything today, but tomorrow I'm going to like clean. Cause like, remember I said, like everything's, you know, it's me and my husband and you know, everything's in that bedroom. So like underneath the bed is like our paperwork and all that kind of stuff. And my husband is like a hoarder when it comes to papers now I don't know because he works in education with kids I have no idea but like he does not throw away anything anything so if he didn't live with me he would be a hoarder he would have he would be one of those people you go into their house and there's like it looks like a dirt like a mess it's not like dirty it's just messy with papers everywhere you know so I need to organize everything and clean up my little beauty space because I film, so I have stuff there. So, in a way, I'm kind of glad this happened because now it's forcing me to, like, I need to throw some sh away. You know what I mean? Once one of the kids move out, then, um, one of, then their room, I'll have, like, my beauty space. If I still do, like, YouTube, like, beauty space, you know what I mean? Beauty makeup or at least have that as my makeup room. I get ready, you know, stuff like that. So I'm just waiting for that. Which, no rush. I get comments a lot because, you know, I'm very honest with you guys. And I tell you, like, my three kids stay with me. I have a 27-year-old, a 22-year-old, and an 18-year-old. And a lot of people say, your 27-year-old still lives with you. And I'm glad. Let me tell you why. He has no steady girlfriend. Like, serious, where they're, like, living together or anything like that. He has no children. And he's really never home. And when he is home, he's in his room. So, like, I, I never know he's there. He gives me $650 a month rent. And then every three months, he gives me eight fifty. dollars You know, because that's when I pay taxes every three months. So, I mean, you know, he's never there. And I want him to save money. I don't want him moving out just to move out because he's 27. The way prices are going, I want him to have good credit. And that way, when he gets in a serious relationship, he can be a provider for his wife or who he's with. And when he ha starts to have children, you know, I don't want what happened to me where I get pregnant and get kicked out of the house. And like my, you know, so I started, that's how I landed up in the projects, you know? So like, I, I, I don't mind, you know? Uh, Lexi, she's 22. Again, we're building her credit. I want her to save money, pay off her car. She has no children. So, like, stay there. And Now, I'm not talking to when they're 35, 40 years old. Now, let's be real. <laughs> like, or their 30s. Because at 30, that's when me and Tyler are going to have, like, that talk. Like, all right now. But, you know, he just turned 27. He's got a couple more years. And, um, you know what? 
I said, and, and, and Lexi pays me rent and she helps out, you know, and Isaiah, I give him grace. He just turned, he's 18. You know what I mean? So I make him though. He pays all his own bills. Like, of course, his credit cards, of course, working on his credit. Um, he pays a cell phone bill. Of course he has a car now. So he pays his car payment and car insurance. Um, if he like whatever he wants personal use, like I'll go and get like, so he need, he needs body wash. So he gives me, he gave me money, gave me $10 and since I'm going to Walmart, I'll pick up the body wash. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but he pays for his stuff. That's what I make him do. I don't make him pay me actual, actual rent. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't have a problem. Um, with my kids staying with me now if they were causing problems or different things like that that's different or if they weren't working and they're just staying home and not helping me out that would be another thing but no I want my kids to work on their credit and save money so they're not struggling because once they're gone the once they're out they're out now they can always come back of course if something happens or whatever but you know I want them where in a predicament where they don't have to come back you know and also be a provider and I want Lexi to be independent where she doesn't need to depend on a man I believe the man should be taking care of her but I don't want her to depend on a man because a lot of women we get stuck in these uh relationships because one, we can't take care of ourselves. We're so used to the the men making the money, the breadwinner. Or if you have kids, you feel like, you know, you can't do it without them. You, you know, uh, maybe health insurance reasons or anything like that. So I want it to be where she doesn't have to feel like she has to stay with the man. Does that make sense? And I've always taught Lexi to never tell your left hand what your right hand has. In other words, have a little bit. Now, this might be wrong, but... My grandmother taught me this. Even before I was married, when I was a teenager, she said, Dan, always have a bank account that really nobody knows about. And have that like your emergency thing. So like my husband knows, I have a couple banks, right? And my husband knows, he doesn't know what I, he knows, because God forbid something was to happen to me, you know. But he doesn't know like how much is in there, or what's in there, or what I use it for. And that's my money. And like I told Lexi, I said, you know, you make sure that you you have a bank account and you don't tell anybody. You know, you tell me or somebody else that you trust, God forbid something happens to you or you write it down in a, a your paperwork or your files or something like that. But like, never tell your left hand what your right hand has. In other words, don't have this money stacked and your husband knows. Have it like an emergency. So if you have to get the hell out of there, you can get the hell out of there if that makes sense, you know? So this weekend, um, we're going to be look, going around looking at bed. So... We're going to see, like, is it just, like, I don't know, because I don't know how to fix anything. So, when he gets off of work, he's going to really look at it and see, you know, can he put just another piece of board down? You know, just fix it if it's something that's fixable. Or, you know, just get another box spring and keep the mattress. Or is it, you know, because the bed is getting old, you know, or, you know, get a whole new bed. I don't know. Let me know what you guys would do. Would you keep your bed if it's fixable? Or if it's because it's 10 plus years old, just get another bed. Let me know. So I'm going to go to PetSmart first and get the dog food and I'll take you guys in there and then, you know, how they have like the cats and stuff. Uh, you know, so the SPCA works with PetSmart and, and Petco. We have a Petco here too. And um, I don't know if there's about six or eight different little cages in there or I don't know what you want to call it cubicles and they have the cats in there too so if you want to adopt them it's through the SPCA but you know they they work where they have the animals there too so I'll show you Isaiah wants a cat so bad he loves cats and I'm like look we have three dogs right now and you work and he works the uh, 2 to 11 shift. So I'm like, no, I'm the one who watches all three dogs now. Like, no, I'm, I'll be watching the cat. He's like, oh, well, the cat can just stay in my room. The cats are no problem. I was like, no, that's not fair to have a cat because he has the smallest bedroom. See, the house was built in 1901. So all the rooms are small. I mean, there's not, there's only one closet downstairs because back then people didn't have every, all this stuff, material. They weren't materialistic like we are now, like Americans are now. You know what I mean? Um... And I'm like, no, like that wouldn't be fair for the cat. So I'm like, when you get your own place, you're going to have a cat. 
And then I told him, I said, when you do get one, make sure you go to the SPCA, because I think that's about $110, and that includes them uh, giving them the shots, of course, and like fixing them, you know, neutering them or spading, I don't know how you, would, how you say it, um, all that stuff, so that's good, you know. So my blood pressure's been pretty good. Um, they changed my one medicine, and when I checked it, I did not check it today, but I checked it yesterday, and it was like 140 over like 70. I mean, it was pretty good for me. That was that's pretty damn good. Now, of course, I was just staying there, like I, I've been sitting down for a while, so I wasn't active. Usually, my blood pressure is up a little bit when I'm active. Um, but anyway, so that's good. I got my new mount, if you guys can see. I need to get a new phone. Uh, let me tell you why. I got the new iPhone 14, and for some reason, if I just film two videos, like the storage is already used up. Now, because I have a business phone, I call it my business phone, right? That's what I record and do my stuff with. And then I have a regular phone. This is where I have like, my other phone is where I have like my Instagram, uh, my email, like all that kind of stuff, right? So like, I don't have pictures or anything on, on this phone. So there's no way like the stored data is always used up. And one time I go to um, edit it and it let me edit it and then I had to export it. So it makes a separate video. And it was said not enough space. And it's like, what do you, so I, I don't know what is going on. I had to reset this phone three times already and I don't take the data off, but I don't wanna, I don't know. I'm thinking about a lot of people said that new Google Pixel or something like that is a really good phone. It's an Android. And so I'm thinking about getting that to record on. So I don't know if um how to go about that, if I could trade this in or or what, you know. Yeah, it's a shame. I was gonna do a walk and talk because I haven't done that in a while. And like I said, it was raining. And um I still got those hiccups. So I'll definitely do that tomorrow. Tomorrow's not gonna be as nice as far as the weather, the temperature, but it's supposed to be sunny. So I'm definitely gonna do that. I was gonna go to the lake, cause you know, that's what reminds me of my mom and stuff, but I just can't do it, not today. All right, I'm procrastinating. So let's go into PetSmart. to get something for the puppy. I gotta stop buying stuff, but I need like Kong toys because she goes through everything. Let's see. Need something like this. $25. What? spots this is what I always get grain free made with real lamb that's what I get this is the brand I think I showed you before all right so let me go and see if they have anything for Bella for her birthday I was gonna show you this they have like a just married for like the dogs look at that and then look at this oh that's too cute all right, so this is what I got for the dogs. I got this and then three of them. So each of them can have like a cake pop. I don't know, like I spoil my dogs so much. Do not get me wrong. They're very spoiled, but I don't know. Would you guys ever have a wedding and stuff for your dogs? I mean, is that like a rich people thing? Like when you just have a lot of money, you could just do whatever you want or do people really do it? But I mean, it's so cute. All right, let's see the kitty cats. Oh, look at you. You see? Aw, what else? Oh, look at that one. She's about two years old, and let's see, adoption fee is 105. 
But yeah, so they have a little cube and then back here, they let them like play and run. They're not just stuck in this little thing. So like here's one that says AJ, you see it's not in here. It's because he's probably back there playing and stuff. They give him turns. All right, so I got the puppy a toy and I got them a few bones and stuff. I'm always getting stuff for them. I spent, let's see, I think 150, yeah. One, 49.99, so 150. And I still gotta get Bella's food, which Bella's food isn't a lot. I mix it with th that food right there. Um, and if you don't know, it's sh her teeth are just so bad and rotted. I need to really find like a dental, uh, cause the dentist, a uh, dentist, the vet that I go to doesn't specialize. Like I have to take him to a specialist and you know, she's 12. You know, my mom just, you know, I don't know, but she doesn't whine as she's chewing, which dogs, they don't show a lot anyway. And if they really show they're in pain, they're in pain. Um, you know, they hide it very well, but she's not eating as much and I can see she's losing weight. So I know that it, it, it's that because when I give her the soft food, she eats it, you know, she eats a lot of it, you know, so she's doing good. All right. I'm on my way to Walmart. It's like, only, it's 325. So it's 330 and it's getting dark. I know you can't tell because of the camera. When I get out, I'll show you the sky, but, um, it's getting dark already. I am so proud of myself. I don't know what you guys can see, but my soda is right to here. I literally only had maybe five or six sips and I don't want any more. It's like, I love soda, but you know, dealing, getting with my health, shoot, I keep forgetting, you can't make a left here. Um, with my health and stuff, I, in my sugar, I had cut soda and once in a great while, I'll have some soda, but I love fountain soda. So anytime I would go to a restaurant, I'd say, oh, well, I'll just get soda here. But now it's like, I don't even want it. I had a couple sips and it's like, I don't, I'll throw this out. So not only like I'm, I'm doing it for my health, but it's like, I don't even want soda anymore. I'm, I'm very proud of myself. I never thought I'd see the day of that, you know? It's so, it's good. It's not that I don't like it. It's just, it doesn't do for me like it used to do, if that makes sense, you know? I cannot wait till it starts to really warm up and stop the raining um, and really do some like walk and talks and, and go places. So I'm worried about like if we go to the beach or something like that, it's going to be too windy right now. But as I'm looking at like the 10 day forecast, it's going to be like in the 50s and you know, it's not going to rain and it's going to be sunny. So that's good. So I'm going to take advantage of that because I'm really excited, you know. And I definitely want to go, I, I want to go back on the trails because I want to find that, um, that mansion, that the burnt down mansion again on the trails. I only found it once and, uh, I, I just want to find it and explore it more. Cause that was the first time that I ever went and I had Isaiah with me and he's like, you know, Debbie Downer. Uh, Debbie was my mom's name. Deborah. Well, it's actually spelled as Deborah. And, um, anyway. So I didn't really do a lot. Plus it's my first time. So I was nervous and scared. So now it's like, I want to go and like explore it in different things. I love old abandoned buildings, you know, or the, just the history. I like, oh, you stupid. You left the cart there. All right. Now I got to park somewhere else. I'm going to park here all the way at the end of the curb because I can't lose my car there because <laughs> it's all the way here. Do you see? Now you can see like it's it's dark. This is how dark it is outside at 3.30. So, Alrighty, let's go inside Walmart. I have my list. There's only about four or five things I need and then we are done. I'll be back. Alright, let's check. Okay, I'm gonna put my arm in and then hit go. Okay, let's see. It's 
See, it's getting better. It's still a little high, but not as bad. See, it's getting better. Like I said, I'm mean, still a little, slightly high, but not like it was. All right, I have to get toothpaste. I have to get Isaiah body wash. She likes the brand um, Method Man, I think it's called. Hi, how are you? Good. I used to, in the project, call me uh, Miss Ann. So when I see people, they still say Miss Ann. <laughs> All right, let's get toothpaste. Okay, so this is all that I got. Right here, the dog foods and, you know, just snacks for the kids. And that's it. This is what I say it loves. This brand right here, body wash. All right. All right, so now I'm going to go down to the electronics department and then um, see what I find there. And then I'm done and going home. That's what we're doing. I'm actually looking for a book um, about the Holocaust for Lexi so she can read up, you know. And um, she needs an, to know a little bit more about her family, you know, on our side of the family. So, um, she asked for one, like a, I don't know what they have here, but I'm gonna go look. Okay, so I'm leaving Walmart. I could not find any books, anything with the Holocaust, anything like that. They really didn't have any books. They had a lot of like Bibles and a lot of like uh, religious books and stuff like that, but um, nothing of that. So I have to go to a bookstore or go to Amazon. So I spent $145 in there. So I spent 300 today. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, I here I go complaining again. Every single time I go out, I, I and I didn't hardly get anything, but it's like everything's so expensive. I'm walking to the car. Alright. I forgot bags. I did buy one. So I'm gonna see if I have another one in here. So let me turn you around. Alright, so I did buy one bag and then have these on top. So let's see. Sometimes the sensor doesn't. Sometimes the sensor doesn't um, pick up when it's in my pocketbook. All right. Let me put this stuff away and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I just threw everything back there. Where's my hand sanitizer? And put that on. I am shocked how much things cost. I, I, I know. I, can't, I say that every single time. I just can't believe it, like, mm. but I got everything I need, and I'm very blessed I'm able to get what I need, I, I am, like, I, I tell you guys all the time, I give you guys credit, I'm not going to see where my receipt is, I give you guys credit who are raising kids and stuff, I really, really do, okay, so I spent $143.26, you guys can read because everything's always so blurry I don't know why it's coming up blurry but anyway that's what I spent so I'm just gonna go ahead and go home because now it's starting to rain again like pretty hard but yeah thanks for spending the day with me and um, <laughs> I think I'm just going to go home relax watch the movies I'm not gonna film for my main channel today just not in the mood you know I miss my mommy but I am gonna celebrate Bella's birthday so that's good that's a blessing she's with us all right guys I'm gonna get off of here very boring vlog but you guys said you don't care you just want a vlog up there so that's what we're doing that's what I did today I'll keep you guys posted what's going on with my bed and stuff like that and uh cleaning that room I gotta film that like so you guys can see it you know like and like speed it up you know one of those uh videos of you see people like speed cleaning you know because oh my gosh it's gonna be for hours all right guys i'm gonna get off of here please like this video it really does help me out like this video help me say happy birthday to my mom and for bella and uh, make sure you leave a comment that really does help out with engagement stay beautiful stay blessed stay healthy and most importantly always stay you
and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.